Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, and today I want to go over the differences between my Mustang and my girlfriend Stephanie's Mustang. You know, she decided she wanted to get a newer one than me. Want to see what the difference is, see if they improved some of those things that I complained about in my other video about my Mustang. All right, so let's just start off with the exterior of the car. Obviously, they're different. They're different model years. They're different generations of cars. Hers is a newer version of mine. She has the S550 platform. I have an S197. So let's go over the differences, what the outside looks like before we get to the inside and see if they fixed anything. Now, honestly, I like the look of her car better. Some people like the look of my generation better, but to me, I don't know, like that, that looks mean. Like, Stephanie, you have a better looking car than me. I'm not gonna lie. So, good for you. Also found it a little bit funny that she wanted a gray car like mine and I want that blue. That's the color I want my car. So maybe we're gonna have to switch one of these days. I don't know. So they did fix a couple of complaints I had about the trunk. If we open it up. The hole is not really any bigger. I kind of feel like it's a little bit smaller. I will have to eventually measure this thing and see if there's really any difference between the two in size. But the inside, is a lot more complete everything seems to fit a little better like you got a little cover there's still no spare tire no they don't, she doesn't even have a pump man if she gets a flat tire we're gonna have a problem it looks way nicer inside like look at it it's it's all complete it's not that weird flappy fabric that i had in mind all right well i guess i'll use my uh measuring tool i used last time and it, it's about the same hole's about the same it's not that much bigger I think it might be slightly narrower. I didn't measure an arm length. Well, here we'll do it now. So one, two, roughly two arms, which you're probably gonna guess mine is the same. But who knows? I wasn't exactly measuring it. My arm is this long, as you guys can tell. That's how big the hole is. Alright, so we have to talk about the interior of this car. I think it's a good looking interior. I think that it's a better design, it looks more modern looks a little bit nicer but I think the quality has gone down a bit compared to what my car is um, for example here let me show you some stuff now if we look at the steering wheel here you can see there's the uh, starting to come up there no, and then we can come down here to these switches you can see on the switch it's starting to come up there and there's a little bit on some of the what else we got here oh cup holder look cup holder really bad too let's come up that's pretty sharp i don't like that there i don't know why they couldn't do a little bit better but not everything in here is bad there are a bunch of things that i do like about hers over mine so the one thing they did fix about her car that i really was annoyed about mine was the cup holder placement now you don't get the cool cover that mine has that covers it up but i can have a drink here can and I can still lay my arm here. You know, they moved it over a little bit, gave you a little spot. Hers is an automatic, so obviously I don't have to shift gears, but I still have a spot, parking brakes down, that I can put my arm here. If I did have a stick, I could shift if I want to. On hers, I get to shift with the little flappy paddles. Boop, boop. She has touchscreen. She has a display. She has, well, here, I'll even show you. Turn it on real quick. She has a backup camera. I wish I had a backup camera, that'd be nice. And if you wanna see, oh look, she even has a push button start. I still gotta put my key in here and turn it, and you know, that's kinda old school. Now the thing that I really like the most about her car is this right here. I wish I had it. Click on it, comes out. It's where you keep your sunglasses. That's amazing. All right, so one of the things that I do like about the interior of her car is she still has leather seats. You know, happy Halloween, guys. But she has heated and air-conditioned leather seats. Look at that. Air-conditioned leather seats. I really like the butt coolers. It is so nice on a hot day to come out here, turn them on, and feel that nice cool breeze blow on your bum. Uh, I'm not too big on the heated seats. I don't use them that often. I've had, the Beamer has heated seats. It's kind of, uh, I go out there, I'll turn it on for like, maybe a minute just so the seat isn't freezing cold but i've never like was like oh i wish i had heated seats in the mustang i don't have them i'm not really that worried about it i don't really care but air conditioned seats that's what you need it's amazing all right so we're gonna have to talk about the one thing i don't really like that much about her car is what what's hidden under here so 
Let me open it up real quick. Oh, it's a down facing one now. Ah, oh, this I can almost do it with one hand. There we go. I got it. That right there. It's a four cylinder. You know? She needs another four cylinders to make it sound a little bit better, make it perform a little bit better. But honestly, this engine's not that bad. Uh, we've had it for a few months now and we've gone on a few road trips. And it puts down enough power to pass people. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's good enough for what she needs. And I've seen a lot of aftermarket tuners that make this thing perform pretty well. We haven't got one yet. Maybe one day when she gets tired of this power level and she wants a little bit more, we can do that for her. Now, there we go. The one thing I did find kind of weird about this thing, oh, I guess I forgot to show you guys before I close the door, or close the hood, engine door. We're gonna call it engine door now. So, open this back up. Is that this thing, I don't know what the engineers thought of this. Oh, engine door, engineers, oh, great. Ah, there we go. All right, so the intake for this thing is right there. And as you can see, it goes forward right there. And close that again. So what engineers decided was adequate was these three little holes right here. That's it. That's where all the air for the engine goes in right there. And I don't understand why that's all it gets. I feel like that it makes enough power that we should be able to get a little bit more air or something to at least match the shape of the intake tube that's behind it. It's a lot bigger, maybe I'll cut it out, but if she got a bigger grill or more, a grill that had better airflow, that would be better. All right, let's talk a little bit about the performance aspect of her car. Um, it is the four cylinder, as I just showed you, and let's see what kind of power this thing's putting down. So if we go in here, all the Mustangs have an accelerometer in here. And as you can see, hopefully you can see from here, um, the best we could do so far in acceleration is a 0.57 G's, which, you know, roughly is just slightly over half a G, which is pretty close to about the same G's that we do in the corners, which I haven't taken this to autocross yet or anything like that. I probably won't. She probably won't let me. But, you know, it's not too bad. It's, it's a stock car. It accelerates, but let's go take a look at my Mustang and see what the difference is. Well, actually, before we do that, just just to show you, let's go. I'm gonna click it over. I gotta remember how to do this. Maybe I gotta have it actually on. There, turn it on. Ooh, butt coolers. Hey. <laughs> anyway, so let's see if I can go ahead and clear this out. There we go. All right, so I've cleared it out. I'm gonna do a quick small pull, I guess, and we can see what kind of acceleration numbers we get here. Let me just pull over here real quick into a straight area. It's a booping at me. All right, so put this in sport. I'll click it over into first. It's ready. So, let's see how many G's we can pull real quick. Huh? Huh? All right. That was a quick little launch. 0.57. So, it's exactly the same as we had before. And 0.65 for braking because I stopped real fast. So, pretty much her car accelerates exactly the same as I had showed you before so let's now let's go over and take a look and see what kind of times or numbers I have on my car all right so now that I'm back in my car let me show you the accelerometer I have in mine so if you take a look there let me get a little closer so as you can see my acceleration is 0.81 so it's almost like two tenths of a g more than hers in accelerating and if you see my left and right it's 1.11 g's so if anybody says a mustang can't handle there's my proof right there i pull over 1 g in turns which is pretty good but i have done a bunch of stuff to my car so i do have the coilovers and sway bars and the big sticky tires now if i did all that to her car i'm sure her car would handle better since hers does have the independent rear suspension which helps out a whole bunch and i believe on her car you can actually fit slightly wider tires than mine i don't know on her specifically but i know on the gt you can um there's one guy at autocross he has 305s all the way around and as far as i can tell 
I can put 305s in the rear, but in the front, I think the biggest I've seen is 285, maybe 295 if I can squeeze it. But I will try that out one of these days. One of the things about the newer Mustang I like is that it has the cool Mustang end emblem that projects off the bottom of the mirror. It's pretty cool looking. I wish my car had one. Uh, second thing is the tail lights. I don't know why, but there's no like night mode on these tail lights. And when you walk out there and it's pitch black and you unlock the door, those tail lights blind you. They are so bright. I don't think that they're they need to be that bright. It's a little unnecessary. I feel sorry for the people that follow behind us at night. Whenever you hit the brakes, you can't see anything but just like red lights. I guess it is a good safety thing. They will see it, so they're gonna have to stop. Now, if you guys like what you saw and you want to see a little bit more of Stephanie's car, hit that thumbs up button. You know, let her know that you like her car. And you know, I might do some things to it later. Maybe not too much. Not as much as I did to mine, because. She doesn't care that much. She just wants her cool little Mustang to drive around in. But don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way the next time I do post a video on her car, you guys will know. Thank you guys. I will see you next video.